Zayn's wife finally came out to speak about the situation that happened with him and Chris Shaw. Now, mind y'all, Chris Shaw had physically attacked Zayn's backstage on King Mark's concert, and he did press charges on Chris Shaw. Now, he eventually had went to a broadcast, and he really explained how everything had played out that led to Chris Sean putting hands on him. So we're going to go right now and take a look. How are you feeling? Um, so let me, I be getting emotional when I talk about this. Um, because, so, ooh, okay, it's all over the place. Okay, so I'm, I'm still trying to figure out why this happened. Why did this happen to me? Um... I wasn't in an argument with anyone. I wasn't going back and forth or arguing with anyone. None of that took place. Now, what I walked in on was that with mm -hmm. other people, not me. Right. And when I got in there, I was consoling the person. Like, because the person was crying. I'm like, why are you crying? What happened? Mm -hmm. And when the story got explained of what happened, I was like, oh. And it was just boom, boom. After that, it, everybody's mouth dropped to the, I, everybody's mouth literally dropped. When I like came back to it, everybody's mouth was still like. It was unbelievable. Because it was for no reason. Mm -hmm. and, and you didn't even see it coming, did you? No, at all. Because yeah. there was no reason for it. Right. So um, the crazy thing is, like I've said on social media, um, this is the, the part I want to talk about, the processing part because I would wake up and I even said this thing on publicly I would wake up and wake up out of my sleep crying shut up and not knowing why and not knowing what that meant so when I contacted the therapist she said it's trauma hmm. and so she was like trauma will wake you up out of your sleep yeah. And we know that you and Tamar are very good friends. Mm -hmm. And she eventually did speak out. But a lot of people were saying, why didn't she speak out a lot sooner? Now, um, for you, how did you feel like when she did speak out? Did you feel like she did the right thing for you? Was that the right public announcement as um, far as the situation? So the thing is, um, I, want, I wasn't going to speak out. Mm -hmm. Like, I wasn't going to speak out. But I feel like for her... I feel like she was, even a week later, she was still in shock. Right. She called me every day, every second, every minute, every hour, every, like. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes in situations like that, you don't know what to say. You don't. Yeah. Especially when it's no reason for it. Mm -hmm. It's like, what do I, what, what do, I, yeah. I'm lost. What do I say? And that's why she did say in quote, I wish it was me and not him. Yeah. I wish it would have been me. All right, guys, so there you have it. Leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about James Wright explaining how everything occurred backstage with Chris Sean. And also leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about how he stated that he wakes up from his sleep crying and that the therapist has said that he's suffering from trauma. Now we're going to go and jump into this next tea. Now everybody's still glued on to what happened with Diddy about the you know raid, about all these new cases that's coming out against him. Now, Boosie had one thing in his mind, and he wanted to know where was all the people that was in the video partying with Diddy, where was they at when the cops had raided Diddy's home, and why they have not came out to stick up for Diddy. Now, he had more things to say about this whole situation, so we're going to go right now and jump to it. What happened for a nigga down for? <laughs> I don't hear none of them niggas who was at Diddy's shit toasting with that champagne every year, uh -uh. having speeches with me. Ain't nobody speak up for this man or nothing. Uh, so, so when, they say something, when you're on top of the world, it's a celebration. Right. When you're on the bottom, it's a denial. Right. Same <laughs> one for see going up, you're gonna see coming down. All them up all with them suits on, with their cuffs up. Ain't nobody saying nothing. <laughs> they ain't fool. Man, <laughs> as soon as they say something, they in the house fool. Boy, this world, boy, this world, boy. boy. This world, boy. So, so you was around Diddy too. That's why you ain't gonna see too many <laughs> niggas around me. Who was around me before I went to jail? You don't see too many niggas around me. Cause them niggas, niggas did me like Diddy from Diddy people. All right, guys, so leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about what Boosie was saying on his live that none of the people that was in his home actually came out to defend Diddy. And now we're gonna go and jump into this last and final tea. 
Now, I'll be sure had came out and stated that he's going to do a documentary about his life and actually about what really went down when he had ended up in a coma for two months. Now, allegedly, there was speculation going around stating that Diddy was the one that was trying to allegedly take him out of this world. I'm going to be producing an LV Shore Life story. <laughs> so hold on to your, hold on to your bridges. And you'll really understand how I ended up in a coma. You're really going to need to call Homeland Security. All right, so I can't wait for this documentary to come out and to see what really happened that led to him being in a coma for two months. Now, y'all can see that he was trying to throw a little shot, um, I guess, trying to make it seem that Diddy was the one allegedly that put him in a coma because at the end he said, that they're going to have to have um, Homeland Security ready. So I don't know. It's probably, you know, a lot of stuff that's going to be going down to that deck of Marion, and I cannot wait. But anyway, guys, this is all the tea that I have for y'all here today. So leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about I'll Be Sure releasing this documentary and actually going to explain what really went down and led him to the coma. And I'll see y'all next time with a brand new video. Bye. <music>